So if you find that you're getting a little bit too angry, a little bit too easily, you know, maybe you're yelling at the mailman because you don't like the shorts he's wearing or just silly things are really setting you off, then what we need to consider is that, you know, you might be a jerk. It, it does happen. It, it's not the first time it's ever come across the earth, but it, it can happen. But what I find is that in most of these cases, the person will have physiological issues going on inside the body that are creating or magnifying this issue. So in this video, when I explain these issues to you, they're actually going to make sense. You're going to be like, yeah, why wouldn't I be a jerk? Anybody would be a jerk. So we're also going to give you some steps you can take to correct this. Let's get at it. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So let us know in the comments if there's scenarios or specific situations that you seem to get set off a little bit easier than others. And maybe you kind of blow up bigger than you do in other scenarios. That's always fun to hear about. But here's how it works. The autonomic nervous system is kind of in charge of controlling a lot of our bodily functions behind the curtains. Like we don't actually mentally make these things happen. We don't have to think about breathing or our heart beating. These things just kind of happen. And the autonomic nervous system has two sides. It has our parasympathetic, which is our rest and digest side, and the sympathetic fight or flight side. So both of these sides are appropriate. Both of the states are important. We use both of them and the body moves back and forth as it should. So how it works is when the body is presented with a stress or some type of emergency situation, it will move into this sympathetic fight or flight state and it will change the way that the body is operating. It will kind of change the way that we use glucose. It'll kind of help the body create more glucose so we have this immediate fuel source. It'll raise our body temperature. It can elevate our blood pressure. It does a lot of things to prioritize survival so that we can make it past this emergency. So view it this way. What if you were running from a lion, your body would move into this fight or flight state so that you could survive running away from this lion. And when you're running away from this lion, your reactions would be immediate and extreme. You wouldn't be like, hey, I'll go over here to get away from the lion. No, you're going to run. If you're going to run, you're going to run faster than you've ever run in your life. And the body's helping you do that by changing the way the body's operating to help you deal with that stress or emergency situation. So your quickness to react to that situation and the extreme at which you react is all by design. These are all things that help us survive. Now, to take this to another level, what if you're being chased by a lion and your toddler says, hey, I, I want some more cheese puffs. You're not going to say, oh, honey, it's not really time for cheese puffs right now. It's going to be, I'm not going to get you cheese puffs right now. And when you react that way, anybody watching is going to say, well, that's a reasonable reaction. It's being chased by a lion and his toddler's trying to say, hey, can I have cheese puffs instead? No, you're trying to survive right there. It's a reasonable reaction. But if you're not being chased by a lion and there is no visible threat and you react to your toddler in the same way, then all of a sudden you're a jerk. And everybody watching knows that you're a jerk. They're 100% convinced that you're a jerk. So here's the problem and here's how it works. Number one, your toddler might be a little bit annoying. Maybe they need to calm down with these whole cheese puff things. But number two, and more likely and more applicable to more scenarios, is that a person can get stuck in this sympathetic fight or flight state. The autonomic nervous system can get stuck on either side. And it's very common for someone to get stuck pushing too far, maybe on the parasympathetic side. And that can create a lot of health issues like uh, seasonal allergies and even asthma and a lot of other problems. But it's also very common for someone to get stuck in this fight or flight state for a wide variety of reasons. So if your body is stuck in this sympathetic fight or flight state, even when you don't perceive any type of emergency or threat or stress going on, your body is still in that stressed mode. So it's going to be a lot easier to set you off a lot quicker and a lot more extreme. So what we find is that when you can help a person correct this imbalance and move the person out of this sympathetic state all the time so they're not fight or flight all the time, all of a sudden they're not yelling at the barista because they spelled their name without putting the H in it. You know, everything's a little bit more calm. Everything hits them at a little lower level and they're not going to go off at a level 10 emergency when the problem is only a one or a two. 
The great news is that you can just look at your body chemistry with simple tests that you can do at home with tools you can pick up at a pharmacy or a health food store and get an idea, am I leaning too far on this sympathetic side? And if the tests show, yeah, I'm really leaning too far on that side, then all of a sudden the temper and the getting mad so easily, all of a sudden it makes real sense. So what I want you to do right now is jump over to our video on understanding a sympathetic nervous system imbalance and that will walk you through how to do these simple self tests at home, understand that imbalance a little bit more along with steps you can take to correct it and then you get to be a calm guy. You get to be nice to your toddler, the mailman and everybody else in the neighborhood. I can't wait to hear about your results.